Hey guys, James here. Uh, this is just a quick addendum to my video about the Enliven project. There will be some graphics on the screen uh, throughout this video, so if you're listening to this whilst doing something else, be aware that you'll be missing out. A link to my original video down below, which has plenty of sources for the claims I'll be making during this video, and I may leave a few additional links down below as well. Uh, basically, I was debunking the Enliven project, which I found through Lazy Green's Tumblr. They claimed that for every 998 rapists, there were only two false allegations reported to the police. Now, I utterly destroyed the data which they presented, and I presented this image instead, which is far more accurate. Uh, it's still certainly not perfect, but it is a hell of a lot more accurate than the bullshit which they produced. Before I continue, let's make something abundantly clear. I care about rape and false rape allegations equally, as they both have the potential to utterly destroy a person's life, and that's why I was so pissed off with Lacey. If anybody was to present something equally biased in the opposite direction, like this, then they would probably be receiving death threats by now. Now, I certainly don't condone uh, violence, but I can certainly understand why they'd be so fucking angry. Uh, if somebody tells me that they've been raped, I will trust them until proven otherwise. If somebody tells me that they've been falsely accused, I would uh, trust them until proven otherwise as well. Trivialising rape or false rape um, accusations are equally bad, and studies like this from academic feminists are designed to give justification for undermining due process. Uh, if they are believed by the public, they really don't help anybody. Victims are going to be more afraid to uh, come forward because they think they've got such a low chance of uh, succeeding. Rapists are going to believe that they've got a really high chance of getting away with it and be even more rapey. And juries are going to be more inclined to believe accusers at face value and put innocent people away because they believe false uh, accusations are so incredibly rare. Sometimes I think that organisations like this want more rape to happen so that they can justify their own existence. Somebody accused me of using random data points from Wikipedia in the comment section, so I'd like to address that. Now, the only figure which I wish I'd spent more time over is the one rapist per seven victims, but that one didn't come from Wikipedia, so uh, you fail there. Apart from that, uh, my sources were anything but random, and I left my biases at the door when I was gathering them. The 25% figure I used for reporting rate comes from the Enliven Project's own sources. Now, what they did is they took the data from those sources and then took the lowest um, and then took the lowest end estimates they could from it. And, um, you know, they were the ones using intentionally biased low estimates, whereas I took the sources which they provided and used the average. As for the 12.8% false accusation rate, that was taken from Wikipedia. But, you know, the thing about Wikipedia is that you can check the sources there for yourself. I'm going to start calling that the Wikipedia fallacy, when, when people just say, duh, you used Wikipedia, therefore you're wrong. Now, when I criticise somebody for using Wikipedia, I'll either show how they're misinterpreting what Wikipedia said, show how the wiki article uh, misinterpreted its source, or criticise the source of the data itself. I'm not just going to say you're wrong because you used Wikipedia. Now, the reason I used Wiki is that it has the most comprehensive list of uh, false rape studies that I know of in one place, and there isn't an obvious poli uh, political bias there. They don't just show the studies which show 1 or 2 percent, and they don't just show the, um, the studies which show between 40 and 90 percent. They've got a nice, big, comprehensive uh, list there. And uh, my figure was generated by combining all of those studies together, which is the most unbiased way of doing it. 
Uh, now, some MRAs use 41% as their figure, which I believe comes from the rate of claim withdrawals from the Department of Justice. Personally, I suspect that this, this figure is about right, um, but withdrawal doesn't necessarily mean that a claim is false. And like I said, I was trying to keep my own biases at the door, which is why I used all of the available data combined together. Uh, it's also worth noting that the figures um, only count demonstrably false accusations, so these are the minimum. The reality could be far, far higher. All that we really know is that the figure is somewhere between the percentage of accusations proven to be false and the percentage of accusations which are not proven to be true. Even if it was only 2%, which is bullshit, that is still a hell of a lot of people who were having their lives ruined and nearly never received justice. Um, you know, that's that still should be taken seriously. Trans people only account for a fraction of a percent of the total population, but does that mean we should only um that does that mean that we shouldn't care about them? Of course not. Anyway, that's it from me for now. Until next time, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.